guys, it's Lisa. So it's Saturday, which means I'm doing a video. <laughs> Usually sometimes Saturday or Sunday. But either way, it's the weekend, and I'm so glad because I was just so exhausted this whole week. I think it's partly because I'm getting over this like weird sickness that I've had, which I'm finally better. My voice is finally pretty much back to normal. Um, every once in a while, I kind of squeak a little bit, but it's not that bad. So um, not anything compared to the last video that I did. So anyway... I am going to do an overview kind of of the tanning products that I have, and I'm going to mention one that I just used up not that long ago that I do really like. Um, but yeah, just kind of an overview comparison, and I'm probably going to do another video right after this just to get one in um, that I really want to tell you guys about, so I'll be wearing the same outfit. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just get started. Um, my favorite of the one of the group that I have here is definitely um, by far the L'Oreal sublime bronze airbrush tan um and i have compared it i did a little mini instagram picture which i'll try and show you up to the like bath and body works true blue spa true blue spa all brush all angle airbrush tan um when i first started using this i thought it was a decent product but compared to this i don't like it i have the hardest time getting this to go on even especially on my hands and like um, elbow area, like anywhere where the skin is like not just like a big patch of smooth skin, I guess. <laughs> it's really hard to get it to go on evenly. I have no problem with that with this product. Um, it goes on beautifully. It doesn't smell that bad. This has a worse self-tan smell. I know a lot of people like this. I don't think it's a bad product, but I have just found something that I think is so much better. <laughs> so yeah, and I'll try and like maybe show you my Instagram picture and my Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name um, and I kind of mostly post like I don't know, makeup stuff or whatever but um, I posted this picture let's see yeah I always forget that I can't zoom um, comparing like the two and it's I had done this one first and then let it kind of wear off and then sprayed my hand with the L'Oreal one and I could not wait until this one wore off. I, it never looks good on my hands. Um, oh, and that person's Instagram name, it cracks me up because they, I don't know if you can see it, their, their Instagram name is Damn Your Pictures Suck. <laughs> that, at first when I saw it, I was like, that's so mean. And then I was like, oh, it's their name. Like, okay. <laughs> But yeah, that just cracks me up. But anyway, so it's kind of hard to tell, but in real life, like there's like, I get so turned around. There's like self tanner, like built up like in here and it's like freckles on my like fingers where it didn't spray evenly. And the L'Oreal one is nice and smooth, even natural looking, no weird spots or fading. So I just wanted to kind of do a comparison like for myself. And then I wanted to Instagram it be like, see the difference between these two products and this one. The L'Oreal is actually a few dollars cheaper than the Bath and Body Works one. This is like 15 the last time I bought it. I don't know if it's gone up in price. Bath and Body Works has been doing that quite a bit. Excuse me, same with um, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, just a little side note. Okay, I worked at Victoria's Secret in college and Bath and Body Works before that in college. So I've done the whole like limited brands <laughs> thing. And when I worked at Victoria's Secret in college, the bras were so much cheaper, and that's not that long ago. And now, like, the sale price bras are almost like what the full price bras used to be. It's crazy. And, like, I haven't bought a full price bra there in so long because if they're, like, $55, $60, $65. That's it's just crazy. It might as well go to La Perla, right? It's, it's like, almost getting up there. <laughs> not really, but, like. That's just crazy. I just, when I had that, when I went into the sale, I was so excited for the sale. I'm like, yes, sale bras. I'm going to get some because I needed some. I actually were wearing out. I needed to get rid of some. I go and I was like expecting to come home with like four and I came home with two and I even returned one because it wasn't like that. Anyway, side note, but everything just keeps going up in price and some companies and stores seem to be doing the price increases a lot faster and steeper and sharper than other places. Like I've really noticed it at Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret the past, like, year or two on the prices. Anyway, side note. But, so I don't know if this is still basically the whole point of that. Is that I don't know if this is still $15 or if it's, like, sixteen fifty now or if they've even made it more expensive. I'm not sure. But I just bought another one of these not that long ago, this one, obviously. And it was, like, $12 and some change at CVS, which tends to be a little bit more expensive sometimes anyway. And I think I had my CVS Extra Bucks 
I had like five dollars off, which is why, yeah, I rationalized getting it there. So those are my sprays. I have one more spray from Neutrogena. I honestly haven't used this one in quite a while. Um, I know that I liked this one actually better than the True Blue, but I used this one up just to get it used up. I only saved this to show it in the video. Um, I remember liking this one better than the True Blue Spa one. Um, I remember the color, like if you're not careful, if you do it a little heavy, it does definitely look orangey. Um, the L'Oreal one does give a pretty nice natural color, I think in my opinion. Um, this one isn't too bad on the self-tanner smell, because we don't know what that smells like and it's not very pleasant. Um, this one doesn't have too much of that. And it kind of actually, when you first spray it on, I don't mind the smell when I first spray it. And then you, you do kind of smell the self-tanner smell as it develops. Um, the True Blue one, I smell very strongly. And the L'Oreal one, not that bad at all. Since, okay, so the other product, I don't remember if I mentioned I was going to mention it. I don't have it here. I used it up. Um, it's the Kate Somerville tanning product. It's the towelettes that she sells. I really liked those. Um, they're expensive. And I had actually gotten, usually it's a six pack for like 40 or $45, I think, around there at Sephora. QVC, like a year or two ago, had a today's special value of a 12 pack of the towelettes for the same price, pretty much, if not a few dollars cheaper than the six pack price at Sephora, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I had a um, auto delivery for a while of those 12 packs, but I would skip because I don't use, I didn't use them that much um so once a month was kind of pretty like too much for me so I would skip months and then um for a little bit I wasn't getting them because I'm like oh, I just can't justify paying like 48 dollars or 40 whatever it was for 12 tanning towelettes so I canceled it and I wish that I had just kept like pushing off the auto delivery because it's a really good deal but anyway so since I stopped getting those I decided to try the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze towelettes and Pretty much the only thing, things I guess that are similar to the Kate Somerville for these. Ooh, that really changed my color weird. Um, is that it's a towelette like the Kate Somerville, and yes, it will tan you. Otherwise, like it takes so much longer for these to dry on my skin, like once I apply the product all over, than the Kate Somerville ones did. And these have much more of a self tan smell, and the color didn't seem as natural to me. Um, it's not. It's a decent product. Um, I think I'm going to give these to my sister because I prefer the spray version of this from L'Oreal, but um, I just think it's great that they offer the towelettes because it's a great way to like get your back. You can do like this thing, you know, with the towelette and like get all over your back. Um, I just think it's easier than trying to spray and hope that I didn't spray mostly just in one area. Yeah. So, Two more things. Um, one isn't necessarily a self tanner, but it's a tinted gel. I have a review on this. This stuff is genius. Um, when you don't have time to tan, you don't want to smell like tanner, um, you're afraid that you're going to miss a spot. This goes on basically like lotion. It's a tinted gel. It's pretty, it's not waterproof, definitely not, but it does take a little bit of effort, I guess, with soap and water to get it off. At least that's my experience with it. Um, I tend to use this for special occasions. If I'm going out, if I didn't have time to tan myself, this is what I use. Um, once it sets, I have not had a problem with it transferring onto anything. Um, having said that, I haven't, oh, did you see me just throw that? <laughs> Sorry. And I have my Starbucks here and I almost knocked it over. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I'm like throwing things around. Anyway, this I haven't, having said that, I haven't necessarily used this on like one of those 102 degree days in the summer. Um, so I don't know if it would just like melt. Oh, that's so gross. But <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Um, and I've been asked like, can you swim with it? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like you might be okay for like a dip in, dip out. But just because, you know, it takes a little bit of effort to get it off with soap and water. Not like a ton of effort though, so I think eventually it would kind of come off. But for kind of a quick fix or just like a instant bronzing for yourself, this stuff is really good. And I think it was like, I know it was less than $10. I want to say it was like 7 or $8 when I bought this. And it's basically um, a tinted gel. And it looks scary. I mean, you definitely have to wash your hands when you're done with this. And then I just take a cotton ball and like you know, spread it and buff it into my hands when I'm done.
excuse me, awesome product. Um, last thing, I use this on my face um, and down my neck and kind of under my chest. It's the Clarins um, Neck and Decollete or Face and decollete self tanning tint this stuff is basically it goes on like a toner um, I do it at night after I put on my moisturizer um, I've had this bottle for so long um, I think it's in one of my haul videos from a long time ago it's I can feel it's probably down to about there um, a little bit goes a long way I do get a little bit of a self tan smell it's not bad it gives a nice color um, I just really, one thing that I like besides just that it gives me color in my face, it does a great job, and I know my camera tends to focus on, well, those, um, there. It, besides giving me color in the face, it helps to even out my skin tone, because I have freckles and some that, like, last year round, and then some, you know, like, obviously pop up more in the summer, and this just kind of helps all of my freckles and skin tone and stuff blend blend together and give me a more uniform skin tone color. So that's an overview of my tanning products, little tiny mini reviews over each one, and um, definitely my favorites. I will absolutely repurchase this. I hope they still make it. I should check. at the. In fact, I walked past the clearance counter the other day, and I was like, what was it at the clearance counter that I was going to ask them? It's this, which I'm going to go out there today, I think, and return something. So... I'll have to see if they still sell this because I definitely want this again. Um, it's a great facial tanner. The other thing for sure, I would I would get the Kate Somerville Tellots if I didn't mind spending the money. Otherwise, I will probably just use this. This L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Airbrush Tanner. So that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to do the second one on the new Clinique eye cream next. All right. Thanks, guys.